Christine Niles. Today's Monday, March 2nd, 2015. Here are your latest church militant headlines. The U.S. bishops are objecting to a federal regulation that would require giving refugee minors access to contraception and abortion. In a recent letter to the federal government, the U.S. bishops criticize an interim rule that would force Catholic charities to act against their faith by giving unaccompanied minors who are refugees access to emergency contraception as well as refer them to abortion clinics. The rule allows no religious or moral exemptions. Evangelical groups have also signed the letter objecting to the federal rule. Hardcore pornography is now being advertised in popular mainstream magazines. Church militants have received images from the March 2015 issue of Men's Journal, which includes this ad on page 87. Men's Journal is a men's lifestyle magazine focusing on the outdoors, health, and fitness. It has a circulation of more than 700,000 copies, 84% of which go to men. To voice your complaint to Men's Journal, see our resource page. Wyoming Catholic College is opting out of the federal student loan program. The college accredited last year is refusing to participate in the federal grant and loan program because of concerns of government overreach. In the college president's words, when we read the tea leaves, this is a government that's already telling this college we cannot practice our Catholic beliefs. Wyoming Catholic College is referring to the HHS mandate, which would force Catholic schools that accept federal money to subsidize contraception against church teaching. Indiana may be the first state to use the baby box, an incubator meant to save abandoned babies. The baby box has been used in other countries like China and South Africa as a depository for newborns unwanted by their mothers. The box would be placed in the wall of a building. The climate-controlled incubator locks as soon as the baby is placed inside, and police are automatically notified. The Indiana House unanimously passed the bill last week approving use of the baby box. It now passes to the Senate for a vote, where it's believed it will pass. A San Francisco public relations firm is leading the charge in attacks on Archbishop Salvatore Cordiglione. After the Archbishop revised school faculty handbooks to reaffirm basic Catholic teaching on marriage and the family, some students and lawmakers objected. Now, Sam Singer, known as, quote, one of the most powerful people in the San Francisco Bay Area, is being hired to sway public opinion against the Archbishop. Singer's been issuing untruthful tweets, accusing Cordiglione of exclusion and hate. To sign a petition in support of the Archbishop, please see our resource page. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about a traitor to the faith. Remember to share our headlines with your friends. See us on Facebook and Twitter. And may God bless you.